Hi, I'm Gavin Syme. I'm a filmmaker, I'm a journalist, I'm a human rights activist. And I'm leaving home because myself and people like me all over the USA are being persecuted, threatened, imprisoned, and killed for speaking the truth and calling out the insane corruption of our government. It's not freedom, it's not justice, it's not okay, and it's time to say no more. So where in the world is Javin Sign? Somewhere warm, somewhere nice, somewhere away from... Officer Pat Campy arrests me for filming him and calling him a crook. He then steals my phone, which has the only evidence of the fact that I committed no crime whatsoever. I'm taken into jail and my family has to pay $2,000 to get me out. Then I'm taken before a Grant County judge. And despite there being zero evidence of a crime and her zero ability to articulate probable cause allows the charges to continue. Welcome to the illegal court system. Enter Mark Fedorak, the prosecutor who works hand in hand with elected prosecutor Garth Dano on criminal conspiracy to lock people away. Mark Fedorak is angry because my phone obviously was locked and they can't get in. So Mark Fedorak goes to the judge and says, we motion for you to force Gavin to give us the password because they want to unlock and root around in my phone. And the court says, Gavin, you have to come and argue in your defense of whether or not you should be forced. And you know what my answer to that is? No, I don't. A court that says I have to argue for my most basic and fundamental rights is not a court of law. We don't have to lie down and submit to criminal conspiracy. We don't have to lie down and be kicked in the head. We don't have to walk into the gas chamber and the concentration camp. It's my studio. It's maybe the last time we visit. Let's check it out. Been here for like 10 years. Done a lot of work out of this place. But, uh, you guys get some toys. So, I'm just gonna do this like we're going on a road trip because we are, that's what we're doing. We're heading south. Uh, when we, um, men of honor do not simply let other people be abused. And men of honor also don't sit idly by while their families are taken away lives are taken away for no just cause. Men of honor do not need to pretend that the orders of tyrant, fascist, mentally ill psychopaths need to be followed. I'm really annoyed about going on a long road trip without all my medicinals. I mean, come on, this is like the best, <laughs> the best collection of medicinals probably on this side of the state. I'm gonna mix up some of the common medicinals from the stock. Is there anything particular you need? Nope. Hi, buddy. I have been saving this cheese. It is now like seven years, maybe eight years old, this white cheddar. I think it's a good time to crack this guy open. <laughs> Best cheese look. ever. I want some cheese, daddy. Take it, take it, take it. Look like this, this is mentally insane that this has become our country, that this has become a part of me wants to keep saying, well, this is this is an overreaction, right? Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe it's fine, right? And, and sometimes, sometimes it works, but you know what? The evidence says it's not fine. The Leonard Peltiers, the Schaefer Coxes, Fisher of Men, the Bundys, Jeff Winehouse, the list goes on and on. Almost no country in the world imprisons political dissidents activists, peaceful people who stand for the rule of law like the USA does. And it's time that we started setting an example to people that it's not okay. And, and not simply lying down and saying, do whatever you want. I submit. I consent. I, I, don't, I don't consent. Lies that, that the officials, these terrorists, 
are telling, the way they spin and destroy people's lives under a pretense of safety to convince a, a community for years. They slander me, they threaten me, they attack me, they say I'm violent when in fact they are the violent, hateful, vengeful, angry people that they speak of. But I've been meaning to disable the OnStar for a while and there is no time like the present. So if you pull out uh, the main module and you just pull out this connector down here, this is the GPS module right here where the antenna comes in, all the GPS module, and it links in to this board. So by jerking that connector, it breaks all physical connection with the GPS module and the main board, but all the connectors that go to the vehicle can still be plugged in. Hi. Hi. What's up? Last morning. Mm. We should make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's too heavy to bring right now. You want coffee? I know, we need to make some, right? It's weird, it sounds kind of dumb, but I gotta be honest. I mean, like, I can't help but like, look around the decade of, of collecting, right? And a business and a studio, and, and it's kind of like, well, we don't know uh, how long, right? Well, we, uh, it, it's like, my stuff, right? But it, it's, it's, uh, it's only stuff. It's only stuff. Just cruising around the town you grew up in, and it's like everything's bustling around just like normal, but you're like, it's not right. This place isn't right. What's happening isn't right. Most of the time, these guys have a gun to our head, but we don't have to voluntarily put ourselves at the mercy of, of these psychopaths. That's not rational. Hey, you guys ready to go on a little trip? Yeah! Ready, Titus? Yeah. Shoe on. Oh, put your shoe on. Are you ready to go road tripping? No. Oh, you gotta get your shoe on first. Good? Okay, I got JoJo's. I got some cheese sticks for the road trip warriors. Making some miles. What do you think? We good? Yeah. Some cookies, because we may need to push through for a few days. So let's grab like one of each of these. With berry, fig, strawberry. Because those are legit, right? Huh? I love you. Look, I got us. If we have to leave home behind, I got us going away gifts. Day two, and we are going to make some crazy miles today because we, we just want to make sure we get to a safe place uh, for now. But uh, I got to be honest, this is, this is not easy. We're burning through it. There's our, there's our paragliding hill down there in Utah. Maybe the last time we see her for a while, boys. Tell you that. Here. Me. <laughs> so we've been like, it's been like 12 hours now. We started in Mountain Home. We just came into Page, and there was just this, there was just this gorgeous gravel parking lot back there with some trucks parked in it, and it looked so amazing and cozy, but. We need to keep going, so let's just keep going. No loose flags. We can go on. Watch me there on stuff? Yep, you're clear. Uh, wait, what? Hey, okay, okay. Uh, keep it in front of my friend, please, amigo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Gatis. You want to grab this? The, the, the go left? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. your Mexican papers. <laughs> Alright, so you can probably tell that my demeanor is much different. Uh, we're, we're down here taking a, a winter road trip uh, away from the cold of the north and Washington and the cold of of blue terror and, and abusers that think that to speak the truth is something you should be locked in a cage for. As soon as I crossed over, even though we've still had to file papers and go through stuff, nothing. You guys don't, I don't think Americans realize, we don't even let people from Mexico just come and visit. We charge them exorbitant amounts of money, there's drawings, there's lawyers. Now, don't get me wrong, this place isn't perfect, and I know that's going to come out as we visit down here. But uh, the demeanor, even, even just coming across the border, it was like they treated you like they were glad to have you, right? Not like a psychopathic border checkpoint agent who if you twitch wrong is going to shoot you okay our border patrol our our police 
These people are, are insane psychopaths, you guys. And we won't win on their turf. And that's why I needed to get a retreat. And here's the thing, we're not here to hide out. We're here to change the narrative. We're here to speak up for the rights of our people and for the rights of all people everywhere. And we cannot effectively do that from inside the walls of a for-profit political prison. I, for one, refuse to lie down and live as a slave. And I will not comply with fascism.